they're being devoured. That sounds horrifying. Yeah! yeah. <laughs>
You know, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's it. We're just, we're introducing cats. Exactly. A cat will show up and sing about its one defining trait and then disappear for the rest of the movie. And that's how the actual Cats musical is? Pretty much. You know, it sounds okay. like that's not going to translate super well to the big screen. Like, maybe it exists in the right medium right now, and we don't have to try to squeeze a movie out of it. We can yeah. just let the art be. The musical made $4 billion. I mean, we have to try to squeeze a movie out of that for sure. I thought so, too. So what kind of cats are we okay. going to meet? Well, there's this one fat cat named Bustopher Jones, right? Right. right. And he's going to sing a song about how he's fat, and his name is Buster for Jones. And that's it. That's it. Plus, he's going to get okay. hit in the groin a couple times. That is comedic. It certainly is, sir. I also thought we could get oh Jason Derulo to play one of the cats. Okay, but he's going to want to modify the lyrics a bit, you think? Yeah, he's going to want to say Jason Derulo out loud for sure. Oh, yeah, that guy loves saying his own name. We're going to have to fight him on that, I think. What? Some of the other cats. Well, there's this other large cat named Jenny Any Dots. And what's her deal? She has some mice slaves that she forces to dance, and they have the faces oh. of Wow. human children. Oh, Whoa, yeah. my so God. Cockroaches with human faces that all scream for their lives as they're being devoured. That sounds horrifying. Yeah. yeah. Slightly horrifying for sure. Yeah. And what about the actual cats? Are we going to make them horrifying too? Oh, absolutely. They're going to look like if Snapchat filters came to life and had an extreme thirst for blood. Oh, oh my God. Faces are tight. <laughs> they sure are, sir. Let me tell you, all these cats are going to no. move their shoulders like this the whole time. Wow. Okay. What's that about? Oh, these are seductive shoulder movements. Oh, you're saying that's like an attractive thing that you're doing right now. Yeah, there's definitely an unspoken seduction thing going on with <laughs> You know, every cat, Yikes. they're going to rub themselves on each other, their tails are going to twitch, they're going to come close to kissing a couple times. I feel just so very uncomfortable. Yeah. Anyway, we're also going to meet an old lady cat, and her name is Old Deuteronomy. I've never owned a cat, but I assume that's a pretty standard name for one. So okay. Deuteronomy runs this thing called the Jellicle Ball, and she chooses which cat's going to be reborn. Sure, I mean, most of the things in that uh, sentence okay. were real words, so no complaints here. But there's also a mean cat you should know about. Uh-oh, a mean cat, huh? Yeah. What's his normal name? Well, his name's McCavity and he wants to be chosen as the cat that's reborn. Why? Because. That works. So what does he do? Okay, he uses okay, his magic because. Cheat. Oh, this cat is magic. Uh, yeah, this cat is magic. So he teleports some cats onto like a boat barge thing so they can't compete anymore. What? A very bad cat. A very bad cat. So at the end of the Jellicle Ball, he's like the only candidate left. So he's like, Deuteronomy, choose me for death. Which is a normal thing to want. Now you're getting it. I don't, I'm not, no. I so know, I'm not like, either. I I'm... choose you as the Jellicle Jelly Jellicle Jellicle Cat. Get out out of here, you stupid. Wow, sure, okay. So then McCavity teleports her to the barge, too. You'd think since this cat is magic and powerful, he would like his life and not want to be reborn. Well, he doesn't like it for some reason. Well, okay, then. So is it going to be hard right. to get the cats back uh, from the barge? Actually, it's going to be super, super easy. Super easy, barely, barely inconvenient. Oh, what really? do you got? Well, you see, there's another magic cat, and his name is Mr. Mistopheles. He's a good guy. Oh, the cat's a magician. He's a magician, so he uses actual magic to solve the one problem that's arisen this whole movie. Wow, well, thank God certain cats are magic. Yeah, it's extremely helpful for the story, for sure. So who does the old cat choose to be welcomed by the sweet embrace of death? Oh, well, there's this other cat named Grizabella. <laughs> okay. And the whole movie, okay. she just wants to be part of the gang, but everybody's really mean to her. Like all the good guy cats. Everybody oh, except Victoria. Okay. So then Grizabella sings everybody a song about memories, and she's so emotional that like half a gallon of snot pours from her nose to her mouth. Oh, it sounds uh, distracting. Yeah, it sounds really distracting. Wow. So all the other cats are like, well, wow, that was a great song, and they finally accept her. Oh, that's so sweet. So then it's time for her to die. Oh, right. Oh, my oh God. My God. Exactly chosen at the Jellicle Ball under the Jellicle Moon. So she's finally accepted by the other cats and gets the life she wanted, and the reward for that is dying and getting a new life. That's right. So they shove her in a chandelier that's also a hot air balloon, and she flies up into the sun to her impending doom. Wow. Okay, I don't understand any of this. Yeah. And Deuteronomy stares into the camera and speaks to the audience for three minutes straight. Why does she do that? Well, she's like, now you understand cats. I truly don't. No. I've never been more confused in my life. She also says cats are not not dogs. I mean, are they though? Okay. I don't know anything anymore. Oh, that is such a jellicle thing to say. Is it? I just, I feel completely insane. I've lost my sanity. It's gone. Jellicle, jellicle, jellicle. <laughs> uh, what Freaking is that? Right. Word? What? what? Is that? So what do you think of the movie, sir? Well, to be completely honest, it all sounds extremely jellicle. Oh, I agree. Wait, did I just say jellicle? Why did I say jellicle? The jellicle hypnosis has taken effect. Oh man, why do I feel so jellicle right now? I need like a hundred million jellicle dollars to make this jellicle movie, okay? Sounds jellicle to me. Do you think we'll make that Jellicle money back. Okay, wait. Cat bombs at box office with 6.5 million opening the weekend. I am just. Uh. Thank <laughs> you.
What? I am that already alone from everything that Ryan was talking about the movie. It's just so ridiculous. Like again, I haven't seen the movie. I just never saw a desire to see it. It's just weird to me. And if that is what actually happened in the movie. I'm glad I didn't see it. I... Oh man, I freaking remember. That was funny. But man, that was ridiculous. I feel like I need a moment to clear my head that I just saw that. Hope. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to go support Screen Rant and the Pitch Meeting. Link in the description down below for the original video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. Keep yourselves posted on whatever video I'm going to be coming up with. Links for those will be in the description down below. Until the next pitch meeting reaction or whatever I do next. Patreon I'll be too. Bye everybody. What the hell? <laughs>